Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs. Today we're playing some more randomized roguelands with the Commando. Let's rock it. We are we are on our gauntlet run. We got by Salvador, the character that ended our last gauntlet run. So we are on officially two wins back to back in the randomized roguelands. Nice relics though, by the way. Jeez. So we have our zero win. Spoilers. We have ooh, nice launcher too. We have our Salvador win. Sheesh. Got by Salvador, one of the harder characters. Now we're playing some Axton. If I can get by Axton, then I can maybe go play Gage. And Gage would make, give me four because she's probably the most consistent. Reload speed and mag size. Can't go wrong with that, honestly. Okay, let's see what our skills are. Give me something good to eat here. Cloud kill off rip sounds nice. It does. I do have Anarchy and I have Gemini. I can spam. I can get life tap on, on, on cooldown. I can officially spam kill skills. What kind of kill skills do we have? I mean, we have money shot down here. Blood explosion right here. Any more, any kill, other kill skills we can spam? I mean, life tap's enough for me to want to spam it. But I was hoping to get some, maybe some more. Yeah, okay. I'm looking at this a little bit closer. I'm seeing like really insane synergies actually. And what I'm seeing is bloodbath which if you get a kill with a grenade or explosion increases your gun damage this is krieg's bread and butter explosive damage skill it requires you to stack up bloodlust which we have in tier one with blood filled guns and we can stack it quickly with cloud kill regardless of weapon type so i think that along with strip the flesh would make an explosive damage build go crazy but hold on wait there's more down here, wires don't talk. This is a, this is a splash damage. This is a shock damage elemental buff. Peak openers are already looking like it's gonna go crazy if we can get it. Let's not even mention where money shot enters the picture. But here's our kicker: boiling blood. Increase the time before bloodlust stacks starts to decay. We can keep our bloodlust stacks up forever, which will give us bigger blood explosions. Double reduced elemental effects on me. Elemental Empathy for Healing. Quick Charge for Shield Regen. These three are kind of throwaways, but that's okay. Because honestly, if you look at this left side tree, it doesn't get that much easier to pick what skills to take. You want Life Tap, 100%. You probably want to get down to Anarchy. But something in me is saying that you just give up on Anarchy and go Middle Tree and Right Tree. Let's take Cloud Kill. Let's take away to Stack Bloodlust. And life lifesteal on on kill sounds nice. Is it nicer than just straight up damage early on? Well, do I have anything that benefits from the explosive damage? Size launchers, TDR. We've been spending enough time chit chatting, yip yapping. Let's get it out of there. Tough decisions. Tough decisions. We're going to have to be going... My, my weapon free is not going to be... I've got a really nice supportive element build, but not quite the raw up front going to destroy you in one hit build. The CDR shotgun might do something for us, though. We have reload speed max size. I think we lean into a little bit of just... Just throw our weapons at people. Where is it? It's right here. Boom. Let's, yeah, just, just throw our weapons at people. Just for a bit. I think we have just really good synergies for it right now. There we go. Oh, a loot loader. I haven't seen one of these in forever. That is one shot him. Um, yeah, let's take this guy out. Oh my gosh, I missed two in a row. This is my last throw. Guy hit him. There we go. Go back, go to a shotgun. Oh no, not to a shotgun. How about to this bandit launcher? You guys stay away from my loot. How about that? Wow, that was big damage. Oh, that was nice big damage too. Okay. You gotta have something good in here, right? It's blue. It's something. Well, not right is nice. We get five points. Going down this middle tree just makes too much sense to me. Have a little bit of wasted skills here. Who doesn't want more slag chance? 
Who doesn't like more slag chance? Name a vault hunter. Name a build that doesn't like more slag chance. You can't name me one. You're like, um, Salvador, because he always slags. True. <laughs> Got me. Caught. Caught. But everybody likes slag. At least a little bit of it. Okay. Let's see. It's our first transfusion grenade. We gotta take it. A crystal cloud. I mean, the rubber rise is, is just going crazy right now. You're making me go crazy. Shotgun damage, we definitely take. And sniper rifle ammo, we definitely take. The, the long-term weapon for this build is definitely the peak opener. So... We have so many synergies for it, so many ways to ramp up its damage and my healing that I think that just makes the most sense long term that that is our goal to acquire the peak opener and to ramp up its damage to a billion with on command kill skills. I wonder, I wonder when we destroy our own turret, I wonder what it's going to consider that kill as. Is it going to be considering as a gun kill, a gr maybe a grenade kill even? That would be wonderful. Looking for TDRs. I can just chuck at people. There we go. You're here. You're in the squad now. Ooh, that's a Vladoff barrel. That's an actual explosive weapon I can try to start using. Okay. Let's do it. I have shipped the flesh. Let's see how this is. Let's just see the damage of this thing. Against the Monarch. If I can land a couple shots here, maybe we can contest the damage. And it's pretty atrocious, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's good. But it is, that is a tanky enemy. Let's try it against somebody a little bit less tanky, hopefully. That's not that's not too bad. Okay, go back to the, the toss. Back to the tosses. Go. I think this is the better use of our ammunition. It's really not fair. You know, the TDR chucks just go so off, you know? Right now, our, our bullet bus stacks, if you've been checking, have stayed at or near 100. Pretty much all the time. And that's because Cloud Kill things up on enemies that it hits. And if I can increase the duration in which blood bus start to decay with the Boiling Blood skill in my right skill tree, then we're talking about the probably the most synergistic build I've ever seen. And it's not going to overwhelm you with things like... I mean, it will have Anarchy. More than likely. Potentially, I might have to ditch the Anarchy side. Maybe, maybe it's the last ditch thing. Oh, I'm out of ammo on that weapon. I'm going to doubt launcher out, I think. Oi. Monarch goes down. There's still got too many enemies to kill. I don't think we can be goofing off. Just do this for a second. Gotcha. I'm shocked at that... TD or SMG, or this TD pistol for not doing more damage on throw. I really am. That's a good way to slag. It's a good way to slag up his little bouncing Betty. Max health or cooldown rate. What's my current one doing? A oh, sorrowful damage? That's a complete waste. Sure, that's just too cool down, right? But having life tap whenever I want it is, is going to be nice. Going to keep us healed up, but we're going to be vulnerable during the time in which we're doing pulling off the combo. So it's going to look something like this. Toss, and then toss again, but then reclaim. It can look something like that. We have really big mag size, actually. Yeah, that's that's probably a big reason why we're running out of ammo so quickly. Their mag size is going through the roof with blood, blood filled guns. Yeah. This is the greatest, probably the strongest TDR tracking build I've ever seen. A couple good shock ones to try. And I completely missed that pressure pad up there. Is it worth going up? 
I'm 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 a pro. I don't need it. Do we do get a legendary? What is it? Sticky longbow electric leech. I mean, say less. Say less. And the only thing that could have made it better is that if it was slack instead. Battlefront is good. It is good. But I think Reaper just does a little bit more for us. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not, actually, if I'm just doing TDR chucks. Tough zone, but I've got a new route I run. Give me a Grenadier class mod. Mm. Not too sure about that. Uh, do some chucks. One enemy at a time here. Feels like round one zombies, am I right? Make sure you get your four shots off and knife. Keep one of these guys alive. There we go. And we're so back. Life tap would go absolutely off in the situation. I saw a turret down. How about two turrets? Two for the lads. There we go down here tanking the universe no longer reload it the torque pistol let's see what it can do come on nice job but you're out of ammo too i forgot you, you share weapon type with the one i just used oh later oh the one shots from the tdr chucks holy moly Put some respect on them. Put some respect on those. Okay, so. Now we can take Bloodbath. We also can get Unstoppable Force on a kill, which is quite nice. Okay. So let's try it. Let's try to see, with our action skill here, if... We can plot... If we can proc this skill. Catch. I could have done that one wrong. Let's try again. Also on top of a roof here. Alright, one turret down. Another turret down. Reclaim. I did that correctly. I should be getting Blood Bath. However, because I'm not doing it with a grenade, it doesn't count. It doesn't give me the bonus. And I could probably prove it to you once I get Unstoppable Force, but... That's okay. That's just, that would just be a, a nice little buff if, if my kill skill spammable uh, attack with my double turrets. If that could, in fact, give me bloodbath, that could be ridiculous. It's even more ridiculous. But regardless, on kill with a grenade, we're going to be buffing up our gun damage, which will then buff up how much damage the grenade damage explosions do. Which will, buff up, which will then buff up our gun damage. Like, that's not fair. It's not fair. It, it, correct. It's called double dipping. <laughs> Someone's going to drop in the comments. No, it's not double dipping. Double dip. Pulls up glasses. Double dipping is when you get 2v2 modifiers and 1v1 modifier times blah, 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 blah. I don't know anything, okay? Post a clip of you beating Rogue Lands, and then I will believe what you say. And just get out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Most toxic player. Okay, let's go. If my turrets aren't going to give me my kill skills, because I don't have any kill skills right now, then we can just use them for tosses. Already at 72 bloodlust stacks. Boom. Got our kill skills up and running now. So bloodlust. Make our guns do more damage. Make our grenade explosions do more damage. Everything is... Happy to worry. That, that was the perfect boss to get for my build. That's crazy. I'll take one point over there and then money shot. Let's go. Now we just need a weapon that scales. A weapon that scales off explosions, off of grenades. Hector's Paradise. Hornet. Peak opener. Um, Blockhead. 
baby maker even at this point even though it won't get the money shot bonuses unkept herald obviously just something Let's watch this case okay, so if i throw it on one turret throw it on second turret reclaim this one boom i get unstoppable force this which increases my move speed and my shield regenerate or it gets my shield recharged for seven seconds let's roll I probably should have should have hit up more of these chests but and also maybe shot the the skulls for the reward but instead i'm just gonna do it this way okay, let's get a couple terrorists down here and they start going for some chucks get back here i probably should should slag you know at the end of the day probably should but Almost out of, almost out of ammo. Oh, I wasted some right there. Crazy, crazy talk. Hey, stop bashing me. Got, got ten shots left. Gotta make sure they hit. There we go. Oh, I got ammo back. Keep chucking. Game to do the melee attack. It's fine. Oh, that's what saved me from those missiles. Come on, get over here. Is that is that sh shotgun ammo? No, it's not. Oh, juke. And yeah, not bad. A good performance from that weapon. Now we well, maybe swap to my other one. These shucks will do the trick. Watch for the watch for the loot. Watch for where the loot goes. No, don't go. Don't don't. Yes, get away from the cliff. Good. Watch where the loot goes. Watch where the loot goes. Okay, over the cliff and beyond the woods to grandmother's house. It went. Unfortunate. I'm left with the scraps. <laughs> Wilhelm's loot is so ridiculous. His loot shot. Okay, shotgun damage. Okay, so this weapon does scale off of it, I believe. Uh, off of grenade damage bonuses. But it's not grenade damage bonuses that I have. It's just it's just explosive damage. Or strip the flesh. But yeah, grenade will bust up, will buff up my, my gun damage if I get a kill with it. Okay, at this point, we just take money shot. Don't have a peak opener. There's no reason to take this wires on talk skill. I think maybe spamming some life tap could be useful for us. All right, now if you could, if you could get me peak opener, I would be eternally grateful. Better fire just might be just better. The bada boom. Don't mind if I bada doom. One more pull would leave me so SDU-less. I'm gonna invest heavy in launcher here. Let's go. It's, it, launcher and grenade a uh, launcher and yeah grenades are the two most flexible sdus so i'm gonna take those two it's a sad day when you're fighting crawl and you're trying to go explosive damage build this might even warrant a a respec but for now for the short term the scout is probably gonna be your best weapon we can try godfinger This, t this TDR Chuck could be good, too. This the shock one. Go shock damage. Yeah, let's roll. Toss this, bad boy. Might need to heal back up. What we can do here is this. Ready? Boss, take that. We get our kill skills. Oh, on the back end of the, do it on the back end of the cooldown. After your after your turret is taking all the aggro for you for so long. Boom, boom. Only one ammo per shot. Boom. We set ourselves up for this. We deserve this. Every shot is popping is is blood bloodbath. 
You deserve to have fun. Use your launcher. Never don't use launchers. And then look at this. Do we want to skip a phase? Sure, we just, we just skip a phase right now. Just like that. Everybody falls to the might of my launcher creek. <laughs> it's not even launcher creek. It's just launcher axe. And but way cooler and better because I have money shot too. Boom. I'm like literally ice skating around the rink with the green power up. It's crazy. Look at that. They're saying, what do you do when you run out of launcher ammo? We don't, we don't ask those questions. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Okay. Boom. Give me some rockets. Check every pile for rockets. No. For that, for that reason, you eat that. How about that? So, like, okay, for the first time, I actually have to try to do damage to this guy. Listen, I got damage to this guy. It's in the form of chucking. These tosses were made for chucking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these chucks are gonna rip, drop all over you. <laughs> launcher out. When in doubt, launcher out. Yeah, you know what? Let's just keep my double turrets up. A little conference call. Maybe we just use this for a second. Yeah, that seemed to work. Okay. How's my long-term mode doing? I'm down to one, uh, one mag. I'd rather just chill out with that. I think the Godfinger does better from further away, right? Is that how this works? But it's probably not the best for this fight. I could just, simp just use a simple shotgun here. You like simple is the conference call. It's the least simple shotgun in history. You don't know anything. Just lost one turret out. Second turret out. You guys just tank up. That's all I want you to do. Like, give me some alone time with the boss. Okay. Any good Ludimus Prime? I see a rainbow over troubled water. Is it what I want? No. Imagine if it was. I mean, the Devastator, if it's ever got a chance to pop, it's when I'm, when it's when I'm absolutely praying for an explosive damage weapon, and it's like, here. I am explosive damage. Let me help you. I'm like, okay. You're not an unkept herald, but I'm trusting you this time. I'm trusting you. You can't let me down. This is not, it's not practical of you. you. It would go against what would be best in your best interest. I'm sorry that I don't have a way to pump up your damage. Like a, you know, like a pistol damage relic or an explosive damage relic. But if you can do some damage to tier two mobs, you might start you might start hanging out more often. This is your tryout, okay? I won't be I won't be overly critical. No, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about that. It's not a bad transfusion grenade. I'll let you do the shine. The grenadier class mod could go absolutely off here. Just saying. If the game would give me one, I'm, I would be eternally grateful. If you go through this waterfall right here, it guarantees that your next, next chest has a legendary. Make sure you go through. And boom, it's legendary next time, every time. It's actually after... Because I went through the waterfall twice, it's actually after the next two. There. They knew what I was asking for. It's not, it's not, I said it wrong. It's not that you don't get a legendary the next chest. You actually just get whatever you were looking for in the first place. In the first place. <laughs> the second place. Okay. Well, hello there, Luke. That's a really nice, <laughs> that's a really nice fast mod for B shield abuse. A Axon's a, an absolute beast at B shield abuse, I feel like. A lot more so than other characters. Flashbang warning, by the way. I'm flashbang out. <laughs> okay. 
and we're there. Let's roll. Into tier two should be we should be looking for something that can buff, buff, buff up our damage pretty good. But honestly, let's see if this devastator can do something for us. Come on, you got to. I don't know how these parts are. Someone knows parts better than me. Let me know in the comment section. This intense devastator. It's a Torg grip. I believe that's a Torg grip. This, this should be okay, right? If I can get myself an explosive damage relic right here. No. You have a bada boom. I invested heavy in bada boom. I gotta remember that. All right, let's go. No slag. How do you do? I will give you a chance to get. We will get a chance to get boiling blood up. There we go. A little life tap action. No, that's my bad. Go for somebody easy. There we go. Now we got more gun damage because of grenade damage. Okay. Also tear it out. You guys just you guys do some tanking for me. How about that? We gotta kill skill the old fashioned way. There we go. This this should be doing a lot more damage now. The rabbit scag, that's not horrible. Tier two, it's not horrible. That's slag too. Okay. Not bad, you guys. If I can get, if honestly, if I can get an explosive damage relic on top of this, that wouldn't be so bad. It's like a jolt's candy. Help me clear off this section. Rain down. Transfusions. Just how tanky are rabbit skags? Do they resist shock like entirely, or what's going on here? That, that grenade should be popping off right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those rabbit skags are the tankiest enemies in the history of enemies. Bada boom me. Okay. That's not a good sign. <laughs> but honestly, I think we're I think we're just fine here. We're going into life tap. Is there any reason to get this good tree? Yeah, absolutely there is. We can go accelerate. That could be good, honestly. And then boi a boiling blood into the blood explosion. Then the rest of the skills, they're important, but not as important. In my opinion. Okay. Bushwhack times three. Hyperion grip. All right, let's roll. I left the red chest behind, and I really don't want to be leaving the little red chest behind because the, the right relic takes us to the moon. Hopefully. If we just got to make it through tier two, then we get a lot more chances at something like a peak opener. Then that opens up our chances for the dragons. So. That's what we're looking to do, ours, to do is be here. Right now, this is the struggle phase. Like, not every run's always going to be like, you know, roses and sunflowers. I cleared that last phase out pretty quickly. This Hulk could be potentially an option for us. Okay. Let's plan this out accordingly. Use our turrets, two turrets for defensive purposes. Forget about the action, forget about the kill skills. We can get our own kill skills. I didn't get boiling blood from that shot. Oh, I'm sorry, blood bath from that shot. I am getting flanked here. I don't want to get flanked. Okay. Not bad. There we go. That one did pla did proc uh, blood bath. We we'll get some gun damage here for a second, and then it does proc again. There we go. Gun damage for longer. Okay. Lost my kills. Lost those kill skills, but that's okay. 
I have lifesteal now. And I have some extra gun damage. Okay, I lost everything, but now we're back. We're so back. Imagine if we go down right there. Oh, that'd be so terrifying. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Okay, we, we do go down. We have bottom boom. If this guy might disappear on us down the steps. We want to make sure we shoot right away. We invested in bottom boom for that reason. Hulk is doing a decent job. Do I have anything to, to buff up the Hulk at all? Besides cooldown rate? Shotgun damage. There you go. Alright, let's get these turrets out. Boom. Boom. Oh, Curse Pirate. It's over. It's GG. It's, GG. it's absolutely GG. Blast him. It's GG for him, not me. Not me. No way. Okay, let's grab this. I didn't, I didn't grab this relic behind me, and we need relics. And we need relics. Forbearance into asbestos. We don't want to take Accelerate. I think Accelerate is good. But is it good for right now? Probably, honestly. Pistol damage. This is what I'm looking for right here. All right, Pack and Devastator. Now it's your chance. Show me what you've got. How does this even work? Is it is it just always delayed? Kind of crazy, actually. I'm not sure how much I like that. Maybe accelerate would be good. <laughs> we, we can always take it. I think a turtle shield makes a lot of sense, since we are running a stop force. The Highlands we go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. To the Highlands we go. Get my turret out here. And because the, the robot jumped, I didn't get any damage off there. Crazy talk. Okay, we seem to get this one kill. And we're, and we're back to square one. We're back to square chilling. It's back in Devastator. Definitely not doing the thing. I'll be honest with you. Let's give the Hulk a shot before we just swap back to our launcher. Ow, that hurt. Okay, yeah, I think it might just be launcher spam time. Respect for this. It's, this, is, this is something that we are prepared to do. We spent, we took all of our SCUs, all of our hard earned iridium, went towards one thing. This bottle boom spam. It's been, it synergizes so well with our build. The only thing that keeps it somewhat balanced is the ammo consumption. But this, this launcher, this bottle boom, is amazing, amazing when it comes to not consuming ammo. Shotgun, uh, a torque shotgun for these guys isn't probably the best. So how about a little, comes in to destroy their shields and then, yeah. I'm going to destroy their shields quicker. Once their shield is down, they're pretty much one shot from there. I said what you I said you're one shot from there. Yep, you are one shot from there. It's crazy. Say, so why are you why are you ignoring anarchy? I'm not really ignoring it as much as I am saying that I don't want to stack it up every single round. Uh unless it's tier three. At which point then yeah, maybe I can start taking anarchy and stacking it. Let's roll. Toss you. Toss you. That should, that should soften up a little bit. You know, jump down. You advance combat engineer. How about, how about you guys just eat some bada boom? You too. And then you. Here we go. And we get all of our la uh, launcher ammo back, basically, because one launcher dropped from the ground. GG. GG. The doors remain closed, though, which is tough. Okay, I think Accelerate does make a little bit of sense for actually take Boiling Blood. Because now this pistol should, should should go a little bit faster, but it's just not, doesn't got the accuracy, doesn't got the damage, doesn't got anything. Doesn't have anything. And that's its main issue. Is it doesn't have anything. Anything good at least. I'm looking for the, the, the pressure plate. 
I figure it should be around here somewhere because it is a mobbing round, but it's, it's tier two. My pressure plate, don't care about it as much. Let's roll. Candle racks crag. Well, we know what we got to use here, everybody. Let's get a turret out. Get a second turret out. Please tank up everything for me and destroy you. And we got some boiling blood active. We will get him. We will get him. We will get him. He will not heal up. He will not live. Oh my gosh. The prophecy came true. Actually did live. Crazy. Ooh, just use up all your rocket ammo, bud. Just use it all up. That's fine. We're going to pick up a launcher right here. We're going to get our entire magazine back anyway. I got to say. Imagine if that came true. A sham and a Logan's gun would make this build go absolutely off. Later. Bloodless stacks staying up a little bit longer is actually kind of nice. Look at how weak that pistol is. Holy cow. I've got two weapons doing the same thing. and They're both useless against the same type of enemy. Let's replace one for the conference call and place one for the stratifier. Let's go for guns that we know that that we know does function. Okay. We know that this gun functions. When we shoot it, things will happen. Enemies will get a bit damaged. I don't need to kill him. I can just pass along by. Is there another enemy over here I can kill? When I walk into this tent, an enemy will spawn. I can kill that one. And then go fight the, the boss after. Get a little bit greedy. Okay, that's fine. Run for my life. Don't get knocked, don't get knocked off the edge. Blast him. Now, I think I actually might want... Blast him again. I think I actually... I know that there's a, a really tanky enemy in here. I think I actually might want that one. And we run for my life. <laughs> Alright, and go fight Bloodtail. Forget this enemy. This enemy doesn't exist in my in my mind. He's gone forever. And ever. Okay, bring it on, homie. I only need one more kill anyways. I can depend on money shot to at least do something for me here. When are you gonna go into your screams? Yep, here they come. And I'm, what I'm saying is get shredified anyway. That's what I've been trying to tell you all along. Is this get shredified anyway? A little fibber action. What can it replace? Let's see. Conference call. Which one do I got? I got the... This is the crit one, I think. If you hit a crit with this, it goes crazy. This, let me see does it have the crit damage on it? No, it doesn't say it, but the, the card lies with the fibber. Okay, if we go boiling blood here into blood explosion. That just makes a lot of sense to me. Okay, so now I think we go into... Bloodfield guns for more, maybe? It has some anti-synergy with Anarchy, but it's got really nice synergy with Money Shot, depending on... Actually, yeah, depending on what gun I'm using, running Bloodfield guns might actually be really anti-synergy with Money Shot. That should be fine. Alright, show me what you got, Fibber. I think if I land a crit with it, this one goes to, to the... Like, to the... To the moon. That's how this one works. I landed two crits, the enemy didn't die. It's officially fired. It's officially on my naughty list. If I had gauge or something, but... For now, it's getting back on the bench to something that I know works, a conference call. Speaking of something that I know works, how about a shred of fire with blood explosions now? Oh, how about another enemy? How about a conference call? See ya. What, did somebody order a little reload shot kill? <laughs> I got all the answers. Every single one. <laughs> yeah, against the weakest enemies in the game, bro. <laughs> nope. 
Tier 2 mobbing never knew what it never knew what it stepped into. Didn't know what it had in store. And I don't have boar. I don't have B shield. Do have money shop. That's not even procking right now. That's just me getting grenade damage kills somewhere somehow. Don't know how that's even happening. And then chain those grenade damage kills into bloodbath for massive gun damage bonuses. Speaking of which, let's do a little bit of that here. Let's get bloodbath and then swap to conference call. The bloodbath. But let's swap to conference call. And our, our, our gun damage goes absolutely through the roof. Kind of crazy talk. There's a creamer out damage about a boom, but no, but it does heal me. That, we keep it. For the utility, we use it. Rough Rider, I want my shield. Do. Okay. Our next five points are going to go into... I think Thrill the Kill matters more. Maybe a little bit of ricochet action. You might call me crazy if you're not taking this Orphan Maker, but I just don't like the, the self-damage as much. Not the biggest fan of it. We keep it moving on. We moving on, moving on, like we know we, we know we do. You know what I'm saying? Hit the box, pray for a peak opener. Neo Generator, it's nice to see you. Tiny little shield, but it regens my health. Okay, Transformer Shield, good to see you. You'll be useful. Another a black hole and a Hyoteromorphus combined. Box, do not do this to me. I did, I did so many pulls. So many pulls and you do that to me. All right, so we, we cap launcher. And I just say we go Grenache. Let's roll. What do we get? Please just Terramorphous make my life easy. Yes! <laughs> Dude, that's so toxic. <laughs> Who cares? Does a respec actually get me anything here? I am just spec so heavily into splash damage, but honestly, not really. I think our build is just fine. Go. No slag, but we can still bag, I think. Should we try to slag? We do have that nice sticky homing slag transfusion. Don't need who needs it. Electric leech is here. We just pride rocket. I guarantee you, Terramorphus is gonna get hurt by this thing. Maybe not as much as I would like. My max size is like a million now. I might be in trouble here. I do not have enough damage with this stratifier to be to be talking trash. Let's take off this this one and slap on a sorry for magazine size, a sorry for gun damage. And then slap on sorry for damage as well. Let's 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 get ourselves a lot more damage here. Kill skills activates. No good ones though, unfortunately. That's of course we can bada boom. Bada boom, one of the small lads. We're gonna definitely gonna want if he goes for another smack, we die here. Let's let's get, definitely let's bada boom a small lad. Bada boom a small lad. That isn't good. That's not good at all. Spam bada boom. Reload it. I don't have a chance to reload it. Come on. Don't end my run, Terra. How could you do this to me? We were so destined for greatness. In the end. You can't always make it. 
anyways thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe to see more videos like this one i'm sorry we didn't make it guys i'm sorry but it's it's these tough ones that make the, the great ones so much greater bye